welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today we are going to talk about and understand what is cash reserve ratio now we all know that all the banks in india are regulated by rbi it is rbi which decides and directs all the banks in india how to work how to function and in this respect it is rbi which defines crr so what is crr it is the portion of the deposits which the banks in india are supposed to keep in cash and this deposit are held with reserve bank of india so in simple words all the money which the banks have they have to keep a certain portion of cash with rbi and this is called cash reserve ratio currently the cash reserve ratio is 4.75% so out of every 100 rupees which a bank has the bank needs to keep 4.75 rupees out of 100 rupees with rbi now what is the motive why does rbi want 4.75 rupees out of every 100 in order to save the banks in crisis let's suppose the banks don't have enough money to pay to their lenders because of a financial crisis so this reserve will be used by rbi to protect the deposit of the customers and save the bank so this reserve gives the confidence to the people who put their money in banks they know that if there is a financial crisis their money is secured it is the portion of the net demand and time liabilities of a bank now the first question that would come to your mind is what is demand and what is time liabilities now all the banks work on a very simple concept they take money from the customers and they lend they give loan back to the customers so the profit comes from the difference between the amount they pay as an interest to a customer who gives them the money and the amount they charge on the customer to whom they lend so the difference is their earning so demand liability liability is something which you have to give so when you deposit some money in your saving bank account let's suppose you have deposited 5000 rupees and this 5000 rupees you can take any time so bank is liable to pay you 5000 rupees you can withdraw 5000 on the same day so this is a demand liability the bank has to fulfill your demand of 5000 rupees which you have deposited there <coughs> now time liabilities now you all must have heard that in order to get more rate of interest you need to fix your money for one year and this is called time liabilities so if i have 5000 and if i deposit it in the bank for one year which is called fixed deposit i have given time of one year to the bank so within that one year i cannot ask my 5000 rupees back from the bank and this is called time liabilities so crr cash reserve ratio is the portion of net demand and time liabilities so all the money which can be demanded from the customer and all the money that can be 
taken by the customer back after a certain time out of that CRR is taken out now this is in the form of currency and can also be stored in a bank vault or chest now bank vault or chest means the place where currency notes are kept as security for the purpose of safety these are huge uh, places in a way you can say storehouses for cash which are highly secured by security personnel and a lot of other security as well now CRR is also referred to as liquidity ratio why because it is the money which is taken out of the entire money which the bank holds so if I have 100 rupees and CRR is 4.75 I have to take rupees 4.75 out of every 100 rupees so this is the portion of money which I'm giving to RBI I could have used it as a bank to give it to customers and earn interest on it but now since RBI has prescribed me I have to keep this portion of deposit with RBI and I'm not earning any interest on it as a bank it is my loss but it is safety for the people this is the thing which builds confidence of the people in banking system it is a monetary policy tool in the hands of RBI through which it can control the supply of money in the market by controlling the capacity of banks to lend or invest now the first question that will come to your mind is control the supply of money how can CRR 4.75 percent of 100 rupees can control the market now you need to understand this if I have 100 rupees as a bank I can lend entirely to the customers and get interest on that so that means I have a lot of money however if RBI takes 4.75 percent of it I will have less money to lend so RBI is controlling the supply of money to me as a bank I have less money after RBI takes 4.75 percent as CRR and this is how it directly affects the money creation process and reduces the credit expansion so if RBI increases the CRR from 4.75 to 6 percent now I have to give 6 rupees out of every 100 rupees I have so I'm getting less money to lend to people and earn interest on it so it is my loss and this is how RBI controls the money supply inflation now inflation is mainly caused due to increase in purchasing power of the people which is in turn increased by the supply of loans now imagine there is a situation where people go to a bank and apply for 100 rupees loans and since the bank can give the entire 100 rupees the customer will be happy and he will get the entire 100 rupees so what this customer will do this customer will go and spend in the market because whatever amount he asked he got it from the bank now this is the reason why inflation is caused if you give more money to people people will go and spend in the market so in order to reduce the purchasing power of the people so that people don't buy more don't spend more money in the market but spend as per their capacity as per their income and as per the market situation this CRR is used by RBI to control inflation so now RBI takes 4.75 rupees out of every 100 rupees so this means the bank cannot give the entire 100 rupees 
and this is how the customer will not get whatever he demands from bank as a loan so uh, the bank cannot give 100 rupees because the bank themselves don't have 100 rupees 4.75 is already taken by rbi so whatever remaining money the bank is left with that money can only be given by the bank to the customer so if the crr is increased the bank's capacity to lend money to people decreases eventually decreasing the amount of money offered as loans to the customers this reduces the purchasing power of the people by using this inflation can be tamed only to certain extent so the customers don't get money what they want from the banks because banks themselves don't have that much of amount they have to maintain these reserves with rbi for example crr is 4.75 out of 1000 rupees 47.5 rupees has to be given to rbi as cash reserve ratio so the bank is only left with 952.50 rupees and out of this amount the bank has to not only manage their own expenses give loans and make profits but also carry out many other activities so now you can imagine how difficult it is to run a bank so this example i have already explained to you i'll quickly go through it suppose that a bank receives a deposit of 1000 and the crr is 10% at that time then the bank will have to keep 10% of the deposit with rbi which is 100 rupees so the bank is only left with 900 which can be used for investment or lending purposes so if the crr is increased the capacity of banks to lend decreases and if crr is decreased the, the, then the banks have more money to lend so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please press the like button subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon next to it so that you are the first one to receive my next video upload thank you very much have a great day bye bye If you like my video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon